first of all i thank uh, my uncle devraj for uh, bringing me to sir because uh, i was really fascinated by the story of jagan uh, many times it was it was like a a uh, huge story for me when i was maybe uh, 16 years old 17 years old it was like a huge entertainer and uh, the climax of what he was uh, explained to the advertising team from america and uh, so many other stories also and this was the prominent one from devras so when i met sir or when i when sir asked me what was the reason behind coming to sir i was not uh, aware i didn't know anything i didn't have any intention but i just wanted to be with sir for some time and as sir explained clearly uh, we didn't have many talks I just remember the first talk with sir uh, when I met him to request him to join him to accept me to train me and uh, it was uh, around 2 uh, hours we had a talk of 2 hours it just went like 5 uh, minutes or 4 to 5 minutes and by luck or by grace or by destiny factor I I am in this group and uh, before joining this group also there was a huge gap uh, i never called the sir for a long time i mean uh, frequently i, I didn't call sir but uh, i used to read the books as sir was always in my thoughts in my mind the concepts was always uh, were always uh, within me and uh, when i joined the gcfp program i sir just uh, told me that there was a program going on and uh, you can just uh, come in if you are interested uh, so i thought uh, it's a uh, the programs were going on on sundays and uh, i can join i was free in the beginning i didn't know the gravity of the training that i was undergoing but right now i'm really convinced about that uh the changes are happening in a huge way so i thank my parents devraj all my gurus teachers and especially sir for equipping me to be to be in this platform and the thank you each and every one of the participants here uh, you all you all interest me for the past uh, one year or uh, one and a half years it was great uh, spending time in this it was a photo i took before one week no one not one week maybe 13 14 days back when sir was asked to or uh, we were supposed to present a present the learnings of the gcfp program the idea that came to my mind was flow the flow i was always fascinated with the idea of synchronicity rhythm being with the flow the art of doing things in an effortless manner the natural way of doing things and uh, when i decided to do the topic on the flow the presentation on the topic the flow i saw everything in a flow each and everything in this universe is just flowing we need to be in that flow we need to go with the flow and uh, maybe to experience not maybe to experience the flow directly a few of my friends 
took me to the adrapalli waterfalls it was truly amazing because uh, before that whenever i whenever i went there it was just uh, uh, going there like a picnic but uh, the last trip was extremely different it was just experiencing the flow and it was just seeing one of the reverence of the flow so the various uh, relevant meanings of flow in our context is to move in a stream as i already mentioned everything is moving in this universe so we need to just maintain the uh, momentum we just need to keep on doing the things in the boss best possible way we can and stream is a continuous flow continuously moving water it can be water it can be objects it can be people animals that creatures anything and it to can move, be an activity also. it can yes. be a series of activities also yeah yes sir to move with a continual change of place among the constituent particles as the flow is continual it is uh, going in a continuous manner with constituent particles Uh, when i check the meaning of constituent particles it uh, explains it as the, the relevant meaning that i got was essential particles so uh, we or uh, we don't need to just just flow but uh, we need to move with the essential components in our life hmm. that's very interesting that's very important that's a very good observation and uh, that was a good variation which you tried to understand uh, constituent particles uh, a great lot of people are actually in a way flowing with the ongoing activities in government organizations in private organizations in various institutions education institutions government institutions they go to the office uh, uh, maybe by 10 o'clock or 10:30 they are also there in the peripherals of the flow that's a very very beautiful a uh, thought you had to to cross check uh, the uh, conceptions of constituent particles when i thank you sir and uh, yeah. when you when you when you do it later when sometimes when you make a presentation to your organization and all that uh, uh, reorganize the flow the meaning also actually to move in a stream may be the first meaning given in a dictionary but the first meaning should have been which one in this the first one to be written here is to move with the yeah, continual exactly. change yeah. of place yeah. among the yeah. yes yeah, exactly yeah. that you take care of when you do it later all right yes sir okay yes, sir. all right uh, continue okay uh, then the flow is always smooth and uh, readily uh it's it's just a smooth glide and uh the things which are flowing are always uh, ready to flow their natural state is the flow so they don't need any extra practice at the time of at the time to start the flow and uh, it's uh, continuing in a smooth manner the next interesting point is to deform under stress without cracking or rupturing uh, it is used especially of uh, minerals and rocks but uh, i see it as uh, myself moving in my life and i am deforming myself under stress clearly and uh, strongly without cracking or rupturing 
Yeah, that's also very important, of course. Yeah, because the flow can be through various terrains of existence. It is very, very, very uh, uh, kind of a creative requirement on the part of the uh, entities that flow to sufficiently be flexible enough to maintain the flow despite the turbulences of the terrains or the situations or the context of the episodes in which movement is to be continued. Okay, good. Mm. Uh, once uh, I remember sir asked uh, uh, Parodiji uh, about, uh, she was telling about the, the, telling that the work was Bambi, but are you Bambi? Uh, sir asked like that. Uh, I remember that and uh, I almost maintained an identity of not cracking in my office and in almost all the places I go. So, as I was uh, fascinated with the, with the concept of the flow, I was really interested in uh, the parable going with the flow. So, you talked about the concept of flow. Uh, what, what is the referent of flow? A river is a referent of the flow. Pardon me? A river, sir. Yeah, that is an example of flow. Good. Okay. It's an example of flow. Uh, but uh, what is, or how would you define, or how would you report, or how would you describe, or how would you conceptualize if you have a perception of the referent of flow? What is that which is named flow? Can you not think about or conceptualize uh, about flow without having any examples? That's uh, nothing wrong about that, but can you try talking about the, uh, the thing called flow? All right, if you take the example of a river, okay, you take the example of a, ru a river. What is flow in that river? Movement of water molecules. Right. Okay, 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 okay. So they, now you say, what is the referent of flow? Movement of anything. Yeah, that which is that which is in in a kind of a movement along with something, mm. or in a certain direction. All right. Okay. Good. Mm. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, first, you read out this parable. Going with the flow. Once uh, Confucius was looking down into a gorge where a great waterfall crashed down to a huge rolling chasm, chasm so violent that no fish, tortoises, or even alligators could survive there. Suddenly, he noticed an old man appearing to tumble over the falls into the maelstrom. Horrified Confucius, along with several of his disciples, ran downstream in hope of saving the poor, unfortunate, only to, find, only to find him strolling merrily along the bank, singing to himself. Cautiously, Confucius approached the old man and said to him, I thought at first you were some sort of spirit. But now, I can see that you are a man of flesh and blood. Tell me, how in the world did you manage to survey that plunge into the river? Oh, that, answered the man. That is simple. I merely entered the water at the center of its world. I let myself flow along with it, not trying to impose my will upon it. Then I left when it whirled the opposite way. It is all completely natural to me. What do you mean by this? Asked Confucius. How can this be natural to you? Well, answered the man, already beginning to wander off again. I grew up on a dry land, and so I'm at home upon it. 
At the same time, I also grew up by the river, and so I'm at home in the water. I don't really know how I, how I do things. I just do them. Therefore, it comes natural to me. So, uh, in this thing, the flow, uh, there is different. Uh, uh, that means I I see the flow as initially an effortful thing. Uh, I associated with uh, me attending the GC FP session, and uh, first thing is uh, first thing was the knowing part of it. That is uh, getting the information, uh, trying so hard to be in this sessions, uh, putting so much effort, the challenges, trying to understand the uh, sessions of uh, Ramesh and Priyaji, Ji, Minakshi Ji, and at that time it was full of so much effort, uh, just trying to know the flow. And the second part is uh, the doing part of it, getting the moment, momentum. That means you just uh, started moving with the flow. And uh, the efforts are not uh, medium, but it's lighter actually. Uh, at this point, uh, effort is not, uh, you don't see the effort as that much of the effort. It's kind of an effortless effort. We are getting grip of the some of the concepts, some of the ideas. And uh, I'm just doing things. And the final part is the being part of it. That means you, uh, I become the flow, and uh, I just because I do it because uh, I just do it because I do it, and I am the flow. The natural way of doing it. So, that's it, sir. Can I go to the next slide? No, wait, wait. When you no. say I am the flow, so I just want to talk about this. You have to be very careful in understanding this concept of flow. Living in a current social environment, I mean family environment, relationship environment, work environment, especially in a country like India, it may not be that easy. It may not be sometimes possible also. Don't be rigidly following anything. Okay? When you say, I am in the flow, your flow may not be tolerated by the flow of the wife or the husband. I, I want to tell you, every one of you must be very careful because only you are participating, your spouse is not participating. Okay? What you undergo, please do not underestimate. I know what is going on or what are the consequences going to happen to every one of you. You may not know. You cannot know. Only another person can know you. So, uh, uh, be absolutely gentle and be cool. You may not be able to be in the flow all the time. Okay? Hmm. Your spouses may not or Perhaps will never understand the, the so-called flow of you or your wife. So, uh, uh, like I told Parvati, uh, it is not easy to be original in a, in a socio-cultural family environment of the current world, especially in India. So when you say, I am the flow and all that, that is a fact. But, uh, you have to develop that originality where you will be in flow, even when you are strongly criticized and uh, abused and uh, uh, intimidated and insulted also. Okay, Vinay? Okay, sir. Yeah. <coughs> sir, uh, in this... Uh... 
the on the knowing part uh, learning to be in flow so i just have a opposite opinion on this so flow in terms of doing and being it is it is it it it, it is there but in terms of knowing flow um uh how do we know flow sir so that is no, that is again no 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 he is not talking about knowing the flow he is telling okay. about the flow of knowing happened to him flow of knowing okay okay mm mm mm, mm. He is talking about the flow of information that happened, uh, the flow of uh, the program that was going on. Uh, that not knowing oh. the. Flow. Okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, proceed with it. Sir, I sir, I have a doubt here. Yeah. So isn't the flow of uh, doing more difficult than uh, more effort taking than the flow of knowing? Of course, that is that. That is why millions of people are sitting comfortably in the classrooms and listening to the knowing, and not even three percent of them are capable of uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, the knowing. It is easy to sit down and listen to the. Teaching in the mosque and the temple and the uh, uh, gurus. Okay, anybody can do that. Anybody can listen to that and understand and enjoy it. Anybody can sit down as an audience and enjoy the music of Kerala Raja. But to do the doing of singing, of course, under uh, not all. Yeah, because Vinayji had an opposite experience, so I just wanted to. Oh, oh, oh. Vinay, Vinay had an opposite experience on that. Knowing was uh, more difficult for him than doing. No, no, that is uh, no, 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 not necessarily opposite, because uh, uh, that is uh, not a uh, correct uh, ex ex uh, expression of what you said, Anuradha. Knowing is that does not mean that knowing about design thinking, knowing about advanced design of robotics, are also equally easy. Hmm. But uh, it is relatively easy to know the theory of robotics. Then creating a robot, doing the doing of creating a robot. So you are telling that knowing uh, the kind of information that were exchanged in the program was a little tough. That's what you said. Okay. Yeah. And that's so for everyone. Mm. Anyone, anyone, even for the greatest uh, uh, artificial intelligence engineer or uh, design engineer or uh, mechanical engineer or uh, electronic engineer, that those things it took some time to master, no doubt about it. Because of the gravity of knowing, it's not because of the defect of the person as the sorry, Andrea, huh? mm -hmm. because the, gra the the concepts are involved, the reference involved, uh, that themselves are at a higher order. You know, mm -hmm. It is easy to climb a small hill. But it's not easy to climb Everest, even for a mountaineer. It is easy to understand the basic principles of physics, but it's not that easy to understand the Feynman lectures. Mm. Even postdoctoral students in physics uh, cannot understand uh, even ten percent of uh, Feynman's lectures. Richard mm. Feynman, okay, uh, uh, the particle physicist. So. Uh, he was he is referring to the inherent complexity of the concepts involved in knowing. That's all, Andrata. Okay. Uh, so, so for uh, being in the flow or to be with the flow, uh, there must be a, a subtle gap between you and the situation or the person uh, or the terrain that you are facing. A uh, detached kind of thing. I'm not. Uh, saying detached because it is used for a long time and i don't know whether how much that uh, the meaning of detachment or the uh, real concept of detachment is uh, working in our mind now you're asking me no 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 sir you can ask me but first of all you explain what you have written there i'm not asking sir i'm just explaining So, yeah, so uh, to maintain the flow or to be in the flow, you just need to uh, you just need to have a gap between 
the situations or the phenomena or uh, whatever you are seeing kind of uh, you are not yeah you are not attached to that thing you are just detached and you are flowing when water flows through the earth it is actually touching but uh, the friction is so less uh, so that it can move so easily uh, like a cat i observed a cat uh, day before yesterday when it was uh, moving its uh, legs are touching the earth in a very soft manner the earth doesn't actually feel the or it, it it's that light that the earth doesn't feel the touch of the leg of the cat that's what i observe sir okay what are the implications what are your insights out of that once again okay that means uh, can i use an example with any relationship some relationships uh... there is no question like that you use of course okay. so whenever there is a talk between another uh, with another person uh, you i mean uh, i am not supposed to merge with that person or the i'm not supposed to gel with that person in the sense i need to make a distance or gap between the dialogues or the gap between that person and myself i might not be involved not that much that means not involved exactly but a certain gap must be maintained then you can perceive the situation or perceive the dialogues with uh, with with a greater uh, quality of course of course we are no doubt about that you are using some other words that's all that means if you uh, if you are, do not take somebody for granted so if you feel Uh, if you are under the familiar uh, familiar trap of the other person, whatever you say will not work. Why in nuclear families the parents are ineffective? Because there is no gap. In the conventional times, so for example, the father figure was held in a distance, held in a high respect and esteem. I remember even during my uh, till my age of maybe twenty-five or and so on and so forth, when I went to many of the homes even in my own house also we never had uh, that freedom to talk straight to the father if you have something to be uh, fulfilled uh, we tell the mother and the mother tells the father so as a result what all the father says once in a while it, uh, it was like uh, what to call the 10 commandments now it's all a free environment there is no gap yes that's a that's a principle uh, involved definitely yes that is true but when you reach a very high level let's say if you become a ceo or an accepted leader then you can be close to people and whatever you talk it may be effective but even then is uh, what you said is a very significant point unfortunately because of the because of the mindset of the other person if you Uh, even if you are the most powerful person if you become very friendly with a person he may take you for granted and what you say may not be absurd so that gateless gate is to be maintained the gateless gate concept is applicable there because that's a universal truth gateless gate is a universal truth the most important all the higher competences of the very human being they are all kept at a distance the next thing is uh, uh to be in the flow you just need to respond to the entities things and phenomena or uh, persons whatever is coming across in your life and uh, as you said many times in the sessions you just maintain only the required speed 
I associated with uh, my driving because I used to drive very fast, uh, though I can see the red light. I could see the red light, but uh, right now I'm uh, maintaining that speed of my driving. So you don't need to hurry. We just be with the flow. And uh, when you said uh, once in uh, once in the session that uh, the amount of accelerator when the accelerator is pressed so much, the vehicle doesn't move. The vehicle must get the momentum, or the vehicle that uh, vehicle must move. And according to that, uh, I need to uh, press the accelerator. That, like that reduces the sumage of my effort. And that reduces the wear and tear of the machine also. The machine also will be very happy, yes, of course. That is uh, in the part of driving, but in the organization also, sometimes uh, when we say and uh, try to implement some things, it may not work, but uh, I'm now I'm patiently waiting for that thing to happen because uh, it has to happen at the point of time it was supposed to happen. It is supposed to happen. Uh, there is no point in making it a hurry. Sometimes uh, we need to tell the other person so many times to make that thing happen. Still, I'm patiently saying and uh, I'm patiently explaining things uh, so that the change in that person must be permanent. Yes. That, right. that itself lessen my effort in the future also. And of course, it will help in his life also, his or her life also. Yes. So that's it, sir. Then to flow, I must be, I must maintain my high position. Definitely. Flow is always from top to bottom. So high to low, power to weak. So it is uh, mandatory to maintain my high position to be in the flow. Wonderful. Exactly. That's what I am trying to do with every one of you. I am giving you all the uh, beating around the bush. Uh, all the beatings that I have gathered over my 40 turbulent years of uh, living and research. I am giving it to you so that uh, there will be a lot of height that will happen to you. You will have answers to every question. You must maintain your highness. Your highness, you know. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Not by any pretension, not by uh, other things. Uh, but uh, when you are really uh, high or deep in your orbits of wisdom and understanding, you are naturally there. Many people around you may not openly appreciate it or accept it or uh, sometimes even know that. But you have to ensure to yourself that you are in tune with the, with the finest, the sublime most, the most wonderful wisdom of existence. That's all. That's what you see in the world also. The entire world is succumbing to a Jesus or a Krishna or a Buddha. What is their education? What is their knowings? Do they know any of the things which the, which the population know? Can they operate a computer? Can they drive a a car, can they do anything? No. But still, that wisdom and understanding, that Vivekam, Vivekananda, that Vivekam, Vivekam has a great meaning. Vivekam meaning that originality of the engines of intellect to, to differentiate, to discern the, uh, the, the, way, the details of the variance the details of the linkages, the details of the linkage between the invariant and the variant, the variant and other variants, 
the variance in varied orbits of everything. And apply that the framework once you finish it. You, and uh, go on looking at everything as a, as a, as nothing but a symbolic uh, manifestation of variant, invariant, linkage, orbit, intentionality, network. Then you are at the height. Yeah, be always on the top of your, your mountain. And understand your mountain. Or understand your mountainness, which I told you, the everestness of you. That's what we are aiming at in this program also. And uh, just like that, without uh, uh, nobody may ever notice it, let us say so. Jesus was crucified, Buddha was chased away like a mad dog. Krishna was abandoned. Okay? So, it is not about somebody else's recognition of your greatness, primarily. You are just, you are great because you are great, that's all. And when you naturally, when you become great, naturally the so-called gap will happen there, when other people will feel it, even if you are very friendly, other people will feel, sense it. Because, uh, your, your expressions, your responses, you are, always remember that. You have to be aware of your expressions, your responses, your behaviors, your ways of doing things, your ways of relating with the people, and especially your language. The way you talk to people. And the way of your expressions and responses and behaviors that go along with your talking. The flow is there in everything. Wherever I see, whatever I see, there is some flow there. This is uh, this picture I took uh, in front of my company. Some of the ants were moving from one place to the other place. Actually, they are uh, they are not moving. They were not moving in a line. Uh, unlike the other normal red colored ants that we see normally, they are distracted some way. They come back together, but the totality of that uh, uh, that uh, banjo or that uh, set of ants are moving or flowing in one direction, but they in between they move and flow to towards the side. They come to the uh, front. I mean, come to the center. They move around. They come to the center, and their totality is moving from one place to the another. So, I I just took that picture uh, because I I find it so interesting to see one of the examples from the nature itself. Yeah, nature nature process is one hundred percent everywhere, in every drop, every detail of the nature process. Uh, there is flow, flow, and uh, the, your greatest guru should be the nature process, of course. Every, ele ele every element it is revealed. Good. Always be a, a colleague of the environment. And as I told you, as, uh, I said the leaves and the birds and the ants and the rocks and the mountains will not talk to you. But just to relate with them, just to put a linkage of your attention to them, just to feel connected to them, that's enough. Rest will automatically happen gradually. Just to feel one with them. In fact, the only one thing you can really, really feel one with is, the, is every item in the natural process only. Not with human beings, not with uh, 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 many other things of the man-created type, but nature process. And uh, also the nature process with you, nature 
It was just a, a model available in your own body. That may be a little complex, but as a, but uh, be sensitive to nature. Like a little child, always observe the rain and the raindrops, the mist and the clouds and the open skies, the stars, the moon and the sun and the trees and the plants. Just look at them with all your eyes. That's enough. With all your love, look at them. That itself will make you great and high because you are able to love something which 99.9% .9 of the human beings are not capable of. They may talk about ecos ecosystem, environmental protection and all that. That's why they are knowing that it's very peripheral. I am not sure whether they are I don't know why. Let them do whatever, but what I tell is, you just love. Love. I mean, really love. Love is after all your feeling, you know. Love is your mind's property. How that property delivered maximum to everything in the nature process. When you come across it, or whenever you get time to Entertain your imagination and visualization and every day when you go to sleep have a view of the sky, have a view of a plant, have the view of a flower, have the view of a bird and then go to sleep. Because you are also 100% an integral part of that. You are also like a plant in the nature process. No difference, ultimately. You are also a bird in the nature process. No difference, ultimately. You just have a large central nervous system, therefore it is able to register a lot of learnings. And according to that learnings, you operate. Which a cat and a dog also does, to the extent possible or required for them. You have a large central nervous system, therefore a lot of learnings are possible. And you are acting according to that learning. Okay. Do that. But that does not uh, at all imply that you are uh, not a creature of this planet Earth, the way the cat is, the bird is. Okay? Don't be a victim and don't, don't, don't feel anything about your so-called great knowings at all. They are all absolutely, uh, in a way, senseless or maybe useful uh, for your survival. Your survival is by your knowledge in subject language or technologies or whatever. Because your field is that. Like Rangan here knows the art of plowing the land or putting the seeds. That is his field. So your field is different. So you have learned that art. That's all. But primarily you are nothing but like a cat or a bird in this universe. Be sure about that. Let your attention be stably placed there. It should not be a knowledge I don't know, uh, like you apply. No. It should not be a knowing. It should be your being. It should be your state of being. Every day you have to try to do that. Otherwise, you are almost all the time involved in the business of life, relating with people, talking the language of your survival and sustenance. Your attention is most of the time in that. Therefore, every day, before you go to sleep, you have to go back to that zero orbit and you have to lie down and go to sleep at the zero orbit level, not at one orbit, two orbit, third orbit or fourth orbit as a part of the man-created society and the world. Got the point? Every day go back to your zero orbit. Every day go back to the cupness of you, cup of you, at least. And when you open your eyes and uh, in your worldly activities, be the cup to be used by other people and uh, relate with them, that is for survival and sustenance only. But you do at any level. And do, uh, be a, as I told you, uh, it's a drama. Do your role in the finest way to get the national award. 
If it happens, it is good. You should all, uh, that's what I want. You, every one of you should reach the finest position in your organization. Don't be insisting on there may be other political linkages, but whatever it is, you should be impeccable in what you do. That is a must. Because every bird is that also. It is nothing greatly human. Every cat is impeccable, firm, correct, complete in whatever it does. We should also try all that you can because uh, uh, survival sustenance need activities in today's world with a lot of learning, lot of experience, lot of uh, extra preparations. And like a bird or a cat. That is a trouble for human being. But you have to undertake it. That's all. That much of intelligence, that much of central nervous system is given to you. Some human beings have devised all these technologies and systems and uh, procedures and processes. Then why can't you master it? Master it. That's all. All right. Yes. So this is one of the uh, important points uh, I got from this session and applied it and uh, great changes happened in my character because uh, uh, before, not before, in my earlier life or before three months or five months, I was so much uh, pulled or influenced by, by my feelings. I was not, uh, whenever I do something, so whenever I need to do an activity to do a task, if I'm, I was not in a good mood, I don't do that thing. I postpone the thing. But when Sir said that the scale of observation creates a phenomenon and it works in the other way also. Uh, the phenomenon, that means the actions that are required to do can change your feelings and uh, that can absolutely create a new I. I just implemented it and it's massive because I do things irrespective of my feelings, my uh, emotional status. That also made me into the flow. That means whatever happens in your life, you, that means I must not stop. I must keep moving. And uh, it created great stability in, in the way of doing things. And it is uh, everywhere. That means it's in the organization, it's in the, it's in my house. When I talk with uh, Nithya or when I talk with my friends, I have that uh, awareness of doing things, uh, speaking it in the right way, irrespective of what you feel. Okay, wonderful. Your, uh, this slide itself is wonderful. Okay. That's a great achievement of your height. Good. Yes, sir. And uh, this is something really interesting and uh, wonderful happened in my life. It was on 2nd July uh, this year. Sir called me at 4 a.m. And, uh, and I, actually, I didn't pick that call at that time. Uh, I got up from bed. I saw the call, but there was a uh, there was a gap or there was a decision making point in which whether I should call or I should go back to sleep. Maybe if it was before one year, definitely I would have gone to sleep. But I took the phone and I called sir back and. Uh, this was a dialogue that which made you get up. That is the you. 
and uh, the background is that i had the i had great ambition for waking up early for every day i wrote in my diaries when i was uh, uh, studying in my college days or in my plus 2 days i used to st- uh, write diary tomorrow i need to wake up at 5 am tomorrow i need to wake up at 5 am but uh, <laughs> whenever i write that the next day and uh, on the next day i write the time i wake up maybe 8 7:30 7 but uh, after this call maybe after 15 to 20 days i one day yeah on 23rd august 2021 i naturally get up at 3 34 am instead of going back to sleep i just tested my limits on that day i need to drive for 2 hours to my office because it was a monday morning but i just did that uh, but unlike the other days uh, it was uh, not that much effort for me and uh, from that day onwards uh, i am waking up from 3:30 to 5 am sometimes i it went to 8 uh, 8 also but uh, other, other uh, in those days i slept very late doing some creative works otherwise uh, uh it's a uh, permanent and uh, and uh, yeah the interesting thing is that i'm not using any alarm uh, from that day onwards on 23rd august 2021 onwards i'm not using any alarm i intentionally not use any alarm because uh, and i see the nature in the mobile phone also because uh, if i don't uh, wake up on that uh, one day when i am supposed to wake up at 5:30 or 6 am somebody would call me at that time maybe from office maybe from home somebody would call and inform me or just uh, the, 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 somebody would call me and i just wake up and sometimes i was uh, forced to uh, set the alarm still i just let it go as sir said uh, before sometime you just have the courage to leave that to the uh nature process and uh, this is a this is one of the massive achievements i have and i'm really cool about it uh and the look of myself on the mirror after i wake up it is it gives me so much confidence uh that's it sir thank you and and uh, one more thing uh yeah ma uh, nitya was uh, nitya was always pointing out uh, sleeping for 6 hours uh 5 to 6 hours kind of thing then uh, i cannot do like that because i told her that it is for the normal uh, distribution curve cur- it is it's, it's for the no- normal people because sometimes i sleep very early and wake up at wake up very early otherwise sometimes i don't sleep at all all maybe two hours one hour so that uh, block of i must sleep for six hours or i will uh, otherwise i will get sleepy on the next day it is absolutely lost and uh, linking to the parable i'm just trying it in this case i gave myself the test of waking up and uh, maintaining that day without sleeping but uh, in the case of the old man in the parable he just experienced as the fir explains he experiences the dry terrain so he is uh, comfortable with that and he experienced the uh water or river and he is comfortable with that so we can we can be prepared naturally and uh, we can we can prepare ourselves by giving us some tests tests also so can i go to the next slide sir yes yeah this is a 
kaushad uh, that is in my home i think before one or two weeks after i really observed the shed as i explained about the background and the design setting of something i was a person who was really reluctant to do the preliminary steps of something because uh, if i need to go for running i just need to the uh, the act of tying the shoes uh, putting the jersey material that means uh, the t-shirt and the uh, shorts those were always uh, i was re- really impatient to do all these things i just want to do the main thing but one day i observed the cow shed which is uh, prepared by my father it's only one year old uh, he did uh, so many things in that shed he made uh, he arranged a fan in that shed and uh, in the beginning it was not like that and uh, there was a uh, rain from one side of the uh shed and uh, he put some plastic cover over there then there is uh, on the other side uh, uh, there is some arrangements for putting the endha varuna chanagam eduthu kalayunnanayittu vera side so and uh, that uh, and the 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 patience he has for doing all these thing is uh, immensely high very huge and the, and one day i observed him milking the cow he is doing the same thing he he didn't learn it from anywhere he tried it for some days and he just did that so he has the capacity of observing things and uh, doing things he's always like that maybe if he needs to may uh, what is it uh, repair something he sit for this thing maybe for a long time maybe for the whole day and uh, he did that so one day yeah, i observed the uh, when he was about to milk the cow so the milking part of the cow was very minimal maybe if it is for one and a half hours it's for 20 minutes all other things are for creating the setting uh, cleaning the cow uh loosening the kid to that means a small cow to uh, drink the milk allowing it to drink the milk it's not drinking the milk exactly but at that time uh, the cow will just uh, release the milk and you need to tie it again in that uh, uh, that split uh, some uh, in that uh, little time in that uh, small interval he goes and uh, Uh, milk the cow uh, so in this scenario i understood the importance of design setting the setting that must be made to yield the needed result so yeah that's it sir so i'm yeah i'm implementing the same thing in my uh, life also that means for cooking when i need need to cook i just need to cook the other things are always uh, immaterial or unnecessary for me but now i am so much patient to wait for whatever it is i'm ready to wait maybe for uh, tying the shoes when or i go for a walk and uh, when cutting the vegetables so i can i got that patience to do the preliminary works before the actual event has happened or actual event happens that's a great learning and that's very critical for your job uh, in the organization also <coughs> tell this to people sure sir uh, especially in india they somehow manage the sonal thing somehow they managed to cook the dish but everything else is have okay so i realized that the setting also no no setting plays the most critical role okay 
And of course, the last two points are very significant, Devani. Beautiful points. Beautiful discoveries of you. All right. Okay. Proceed. One second, sir. Yes. Sir, one observation from what Vinay was talking about is uh, father. Um, oh. So when you are in flow, uh, you, are the, you are in more calm state. He was talking about his father doing multiples of things and uh, in, a, in a very, very calm situation. So when, when, when you are a natural self, your uh, state is much more calm and subtle. Of course, yeah. Definitely, yes, Ramesh. Mm. In the sense that, for example, you can consider one of the linkage sitting. The so called natural self, everything is driven by the engines of the body process, okay, the physiological process. Look at the physiological process when it is in calm equilibrium, the heartbeat, the respiration rate, the digestion process, the cell biological metabolism, they are all in proper form. Yes, of course. But uh, uh, in an organization, work situation, it may be a little bit difficult to maintain that because as I told you, the speed trap. A lot of people will persuade you to do things in a speed which, uh, which is actually not relevant to the world. So that's a, a little bit different, in fact. And the evidence that the world has not achieved anything out of this field. This I told in an international conference also. There is high speed uh, uh, transport planes, uh, cars, uh, um, buses, uh, email, this, that, high speed production. What is the consequence? Poverty is increasing every year. Every year. The gap between the rich and the poor is increasing every year. What progress out of this so-called speed? Emails, quick reply, on the online conference, online decision making, just-in-time management, automated production, now robotic production, millions of cars are sold, etc., etc. For what? Okay, this is a question again, we don't have any right to discuss about but I am talking. But as much as possible, okay, at least uh, uh, be aware of these facts. And out of the work situation, be aware of what uh, uh, actually Ramesh is also pointing out. So that, uh, that natural speed. Very important. The world is not aware of that, the mechanical Western world, the science and technology driven world, by the speed of the machine, they are trying to create a better world, a faster world. Uh, nobody knows for whom, for what. Anyway, it's that's all for okay. money, yes. isn't it? Pardon me? It's all for money, yeah, isn't for, it? Yeah, for them to make money and wealth, and even, even that, they do not know what to do with it. They are, they are making like what you call our uh, Donald Trump has a personal jet with every part of the jet uh, um, covered with gold leaf. Okay. So, and the so-called, you can look into the, uh, so now there are so-called YouTube vloggers who talk about the practice of the so-called rich and the affluent. They are all just uh, wasting that money. That's all. But it is their mental illness, there's a neurosis, yes, of course, that's all. But as I told many times, we, because of our creative sensitivity, we become aware of all these things and we become affected by all these things. But don't be affected, be aware and be a mystic. I mean, that's a height, mystic meaning the one who sees the truth. So be aware of the truth. Manage your life, your work, and your relationship quite strategically. And uh, 
uh, in this drama of your organization or your role position, you do things very wonderful. And that also is equally important, whatever it is, whether it is for somebody else to, else to make money or whatever it is, let them make it. But anyway, having taken up your assignment, that is your vantage point. You have taken an assignment and do it with the integrity, with the completeness, with elegance and all possible greatness. That's a different topic which you adopt strategically. Yes. Vinay, proceed. All right, proceed, Vinay. I was on mute. Sorry, sir. Okay. Uh, there was an incident happened with a dog. We have a dog at our home. And uh, one day in the morning when I saw... No, when I heard his uh, barking sound, he, he, the dog was so violent and uh, it was uh, in front of my house uh, near the gate and uh, one, uh, one of the other dogs were there and uh, I, didn't, I, don't, I didn't see the other dog before and uh, I, find it as a, I found it as a uh, home dog. That means it might, it might have been from some, house, some nearby houses and uh, it is released from its... Uh, uh, this thing and it came in front of our house. So, uh, normally I'm not that familiar with dogs, though uh, there is a, one dog in my house. Uh, when I used to maintain a distance uh, with the other dogs outside. So, without thinking anything, I just went out the gate. I I just kind of managed that dog. It uh, it didn't bite, it didn't do anything. It was just uh, obedient. And uh, at that time, one of the uh, neighbors came and uh, uh, took it to their house. So the thing is that the eye didn't do that or the eye cannot do that. At that time, something other took charge and managed the situation. I realized it only after the situation had happened. And uh, yeah, uh, so this incident was that. Sir. And uh, one other incident also happened. So I saw an accident in front of my office. Uh, not exactly in my office because one of my uh, one of the officers, uh, one of the sister concerns of our uh, main organization because I stay behind that organization. It was uh, just uh, near the highway, so I saw an accident without thinking, without thinking, without uh, having any other thought. I just ran to that accident place. There might not be something I could do because uh, it was uh, not a severe condition. So many other people also came. I just uh, uh, took the vehicle from the ground and I placed it in a, uh, a normal position. Uh, but the thing is that in this situation also, normally I don't uh, do these kind of activities. I just think and uh, uh, maintain a distance. But that incident was from the other self. There was no thinking. Because I think this is the first time I'm uh, running and uh, I'm trying to help somebody. Maybe before so many years I did that. But right now I just got that innocence of uh, uh, helping somebody without uh, thinking about uh, my, maybe my position, what would happen if I help him. So this is also one major change that happened in me because of the interactions in this session, interactions with Sir. 
then yeah uh, this is the pool where i learn swimming or I, i was trained to swim this is near near, my, near a temple since i decided to do the presentation on the topic the flow i thought of just being with water for some time so i went to the pool on a sunday morning my father also insisted to come with me because i had an incident of uh losing my uh, consciousness uh, sometimes i had a i had a uh, incident with a kid maybe i was when i was fourth standard i was in fourth standard so i just lost my mind and i fell down so they were all they were always uh, careful when i uh, go to water or some kind of uh, some situations like that so my father insisted to come with me uh normally i don't allow him to come with me but uh, at this point i just allowed because uh, uh, it would uh, uh influence my ego or it would uh, what is that uh, puncture my ego if someone is trying to protect me at this age that was my thought in the beginning uh, but uh, at this time i thought that okay let him also come uh, what is the point of that let him come so he went with me and he had a walk over there that is a, that is not the incident i am going to tell so when uh, before that also sir was saying about uh, approaching a thing in a very slow manner without uh, attacking that thing just be very slow so i went to the water went inside the water very slowly dipping my toes my legs very slowly i entered the water i just experienced the water i went inside the water and uh, i didn't try to for one or two days on the next sunday also i did the same thing i didn't try to swim on those days i i kind of experienced the water and uh, three times i dipped into the water and uh, in the third time under the water i got the thought that i listened to the sound of water i never tried to listen to something under the water but this time i didn't try it but it just happened and it was uh, beautiful then yes uh i'm i'm not going with the left part of this thing i'm going to the uh, right uh, right side of the uh, the points on the right side from that day onwards uh, when i woke up at 4:30 am in the morning till 1st of november i was charged i was under control of the creature and uh, on first november onwards i just lost that connection and i tried i tried to go back because uh, on first uh, till first onwards i had uh, a wonderful idea of doing the presentation i had uh, great plans whatever i present so uh, after that i just lost that connection and i was uh, i was like a not a distress situation but kind of trying situation to go back and get back that connection i tried 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 uh, and i i failed a lot then i thought of just surrendering and it happened on 9th november in the night or in the evening in the evening exactly i just thought of uh, as i said in the beginning just leave it just come whatever in the way and uh, i got the connection with the creature after that uh in that one week comparing to the previous uh, 
two and a half months uh, i was really lagging in all the activities i want to do a lot of things but uh, i couldn't do that in office in in my house i was lagging behind maybe before that period the creature was on charge and uh, it was arranging things in the best possible manner so everything was everything were in the flow uh, you didn't need to arrange things just have a vague plan and it just happened like that and from 9th onwards i just got that back uh and it's uh, getting the momentum and uh, exactly i couldn't attend veena ji's session on that day uh and uh, I, when i was listening to the presentation later sir was saying this beautiful point which i was trying uh, very trying very hardly to come back is your creature is your creature your creature does it do whatever you want whatever you want to do no the creature is with you at the same time it is not with you there is a gate like gateless gate relationship with you and your creature also it is under your control at the same time it is not under your control you did not create that creature and at some point of time it becomes dysfunctional also it is related to the death uh, factor that uh, veena ji was uh, uh, highly uh, focused on so this was a realization to let go the things uh, and to be in the flow and another thing the signs from nature process uh, i i forgot my phone one day when i was walking from my home to the gate um, after taking four to five steps i listened to the 